Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I am a knitter and maker based in Seattle, Washington. Um, and today we're going to be talking about baby knits. Um, if you are new here, welcome. I am expecting my first baby in February. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about baby knits for the past many months. Um, and I wanted to put together a little video, a little video of all of, well, a selection of my favorite baby knit patterns. Um, and the way that this video is organized is going to be kind of like patterns for the baby's first year of life. So I'm thinking about all, uh, a few patterns for each season, um, that are appropriate for a child that's like and from zero to like 12 to 18 months. So when they're relatively small, not moving as much, um, and they need a lot of like cozy things, comfortable things, warm things. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the way I've put together the patterns that I'm gonna to talk to you about. They're also just patterns that I really love. Um, I have many nieces and nephews, so I've been curating kind of like a bundle of baby nets for a while now, but since, I have, since I'm now knitting for my own baby, um, thinking a little bit more strategically about what I want to have for her. Um, and these are some things that I'm either working on or planning on working on, or I have tasked other people with making for me, um, or I just think would be really lovely for a little baby. So um, we're gonna go, I have five patterns for each of the four seasons. So I have a total of 20 patterns to talk to you about today. And we'll start with winter because I'm having a winter baby and go through the four seasons and I'll just talk to you about um, a couple patterns for each season that I think are just beautiful and lovely. This is also gonna be a mix of free and paid for patterns um, from all sorts of different designers, big and small. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Um, so starting with winter, which, you know, winter varies <laughs> kind of depending on where you live, the like extremity of winter. But where I live in Seattle, it's like wintry from December to February and early March. Um, and we don't get a lot of sunshine, we do have a lot of rain. So that's kind of the weather I'm thinking about dressing my little tiny baby for. So the first pattern is Olive's Jumpsuit from Knitting for Olive. Um, I think this is such a cute little baby knit. Uh, I'm planning to cast one on kind of soon in like, uh, minty green and white stripe. I really love the stripe version um, of this pattern, but there are also people who have made it without the stripes. I just think it's super cool. There all, and there are also people who have made it without the sleeves as more of like a transitional piece. So I think this pattern is super versatile, but I'm planning on doing it for like kind of a winter application with the long sleeves. Um, it has buttons on the legs so you can easily get in and out for diaper changes and if you wanted to change those to little snaps I'm sure it would be super easy to do that you just omit the buttonholes and sew the snaps on instead which makes it easy even easier for diaper changes um, but I just feel like it would be super warm and cozy for a little baby in the winter time I love the micro stripes I just think it's really sweet I like the little keyhole detail on the back I also like that this is a pretty unisex pattern so depending on the colors you choose um, it could go either way, or you could just leave it kind of neutral colors and um, have it work for any kind of baby. So if you don't know what kind of baby you're having and did it in like a color like this, blue and white, or like a gray and white or a brown or something, um, a yellow, a green, it could go either way. Um, so it could be fun if you're all pregnant or have know someone that's pregnant and having a baby, but they don't know which gender baby they're having. It could be fun to do that. The next pattern is another little jumpsuit. Winter, I feel like, is a lot of jumpsuits just because they want they need to be super warm and cozy. Um, if you're taking them out in the stroller or even if they're just sleeping like in their rocker at home, um, it's good to keep them cozy and warm. So the next one is the Sunday Suit, which is a pattern by Petite Knit. Um, and this is part of the Sunday series, which if you're familiar with the Sunday patterns from Petite Knit, there's a t-shirt and a sweater and a cardigan, um, like a mohair cardigan. It's the... Um, it's the one with the kind of like radiating sunburst yoke. Very cute, very sweet. Um, I knit the Sunday tee earlier this year and really like it. It's very simple, like ribbed motif, um, but very effective. And this little baby suit has the same motif on the yoke of the baby suit. And then it's long sleeves um, and long pants. 
and it has buttons running down the middle, which again, if you wanted to put in like snaps or a zipper even, you probably could do that without too much trouble. Um, but buttons so you can open it up and close it. Um, and I just think it's really sweet. It goes for a range of sizes. All of these patterns, by the way, go for a range of sizes. So if you're having, <laughs> um, if you're knitting for a baby that's not born in the same season as my baby and won't need, like if you, <laughs> you're knitting for a baby that's gonna be six months in the winter time, I think feel like these, these patterns would still be appropriate. Um, but I just think the Sunday suit is really cute. I love the, um, yeah, I love the buttons up the middle makes it super easy if you need to like, if they get too warm, you could just take them out of the top port part, whatever. It feels super versatile, super cozy, um, and very sweet. The next pattern that I wanted to talk to you about is the Winter Baby Duo Waistcoat, which is a pattern by Sandra Magohai. It's She's a Portuguese designer, so I'm not super certain how to pron pronounce her last name, but all of the patterns I'm talking about will be linked below for you so you can access them. Um, and she makes lots of really beautiful kids patterns. I may have another one of her patterns um, in this list, but if not, she has tons of really cute kids patterns. I like them a lot. I've knit up a child's pattern from her before and really enjoyed it. So, um, but this vest in particular, I really like. I think vests and outerwear in general are perfect for winter time and vests especially because you can put them on the baby, but they're, they're not gonna overheat because I know there's a lot of <laughs> Like you have to keep your baby warm, but not overheat and it can be challenging, but I like that there's a vest that they can still have their arms free um, to be cool, but a little bit of warmth around their core. Um, and I just really love this vest. I think it's super cute. It's knit in brioche. So it, um, there are samples in two color brioche and then you could just do it in single brioche, but if you do it in two colors, it's reversible. So you can kind of style it in different ways. I think it's really sweet. I love the little bow at the top. I have a vest for myself that has, that's like kind of a similar shape with the bow and I think it's very cute. Um, this definitely leans a little bit more feminine, but I feel like if you wanted to make it for a boy, you could do it with just like a loop and a button instead of the bow. Um, I think it's really sweet and cute and I like it a lot. Um, I think if I were gonna make it, I'd probably just do it in one single color, but I do think it's so sweet and cute and very versatile. You could even do like, a darker color on one side and a lighter color in the other and like have the darker color be for winter and then use the lighter color to transition into spring. I, th I think it's a great pattern um, and really fun and I may end up making one not for maybe probably not for my baby um, but for one of my nieces who is going to be living in a colder climate and may need a little bit more warmth. Um, the next pattern is a fun classic that I feel like lots of winter babies have. It's the Selma Sleep Suit by Petite Knit. Um, there aren't a ton of petite knit patterns on this list, but there are a few because petite knit makes beautiful classic designs and she has lots of kids. And I assume I trust her for kids patterns to know um, what kids need and what they will wear and what sizes to put them in and stuff. So the Selma sleep suit, um, I'm actually having my mom make for me, which is so sweet of her to do. It's just kind of like a really big cozy, onesie for a baby that has a big hood and then it has coverage for the hands and for the feet and I'm envisioning using this um, when I take my baby out for walks in her stroller around the neighborhood it's going to be cold and rainy and she'll need to keep warm so she'll be super snuggly in this lovely squishy garter stitch sleep suit um, this is another really good versatile boy and girl pattern or like if you don't know what you're having kind of a thing um works for all different kinds of babies and there's just something about garter stitch that it's so like squishy and comforting and that feels really appropriate in the winter time to me which kind of leads me on to my next pattern which is the coco by the noble thread it's a really cute little jacket kind of like a french style very chic shape jacket or cardigan i would think of this more as like an outerwear piece so if you're Again, going on a walk, or if you have a, a little bit of an older kid and they're gonna go play at the park, something like that, like this, you could throw on. It's that same squishy garter stitch, but with these really cute um, I-core details that are very sweet and even has little pockets, which for a baby, a tiny baby seems useless, but if you have a slightly older kid, they can put their like rocks and wood chips and toys and things <laughs> um, in the pockets of this coat. I think it's really sweet. Um, it's a free pattern. And I feel like, again, this is another one that could be good for boys and girls, depending on uh, the color that you choose. And I think it's so sweet and so squishy, and I'm sure it will be super warm 
and cozy for a little kiddo. I love the little contrast I-cord. There's also people who have done it without the contrast I-cord, but I just think it's really cute and really chic. Um, and lovely for a little winter baby. So those are my five winter patterns. And next we'll move on to spring. Um, my spring patterns are definitely a little girlier because it's something about spring just makes me think of like lace and frills and like pastel colors. And I'm having a girl, so I'm thinking about girl patterns. I'm definitely leaning into that. Um, and that's kind of reflected here, but there are some other cardigans that work, or there are some other patterns that could work for both. So the first one um, is the lace collar dress, which is a free pattern from Berger de France. Uh, they have quite a few free kids and babies patterns um, that are available on their website. And this one I really like. It's very, just like a cute little dress that makes me, it feels springy um, because of the lace collar on it, which is a really beautiful detail. And I like that this dress um, is in reverse stockinette, kind of similar to garter. I just, I just think it adds a little bit of interesting texture and contrast against the delicate lace. I think it just works really well. I love the little sweet buttons that are down the front. Um, and I just think it's a really cute little dress that you could do in all sorts of colors for all sorts of occasions. I do actually really like the neutral gray gray one. That's the pattern pictures on the website or on, on Ravelry, but I think it's really sweet. Um, and a lovely little springtime transitional piece. You could put some little tights on underneath if it's still chilly, but as the weather warms up, um, you can wear it kind of throughout the sunny, the sunnier springtime days. Um, the next one, the next pattern is the Nia Wrap Cardigan, which is a pattern by EO Knits or Ingrid EO Knits. Um, this is also a free pattern. It's a really cute, another vest, um, but it's a really cute little V-neck vest that has a little tie on the side with stripes. And again, similarly to like I said before, I feel like vests are really good for little kids who have a tendency to like their temperature fluctuates a lot and need some help regulating um, you could open up the vest if they get too warm, um, but they have their arms out, you know, just kind of helps balance, excuse me, just kind of helps balance out their temperature. Um, I feel like this is another pattern that could go really well for babies of all different genders because it just depends on the colors that you use. Again, if you didn't want to do the bow, you could do like a loop with a button. Um, I think it's really sweet and it feels like it would knit up really quickly because you don't have to knit the sleeves. So it's just like one little piece of fabric. Um, I definitely want to make this for my little girl. I don't I have no idea what colors I would do, but I think it's really sweet and good for growing. And I also feel like it would be good for babies. Like you could, they could wear it for a long time because it's a wrap cardigan. Like if they, if they get chunky and their belly grows or whatever, you can tie it a little looser or if they're really tiny, you can tie it tight. So it feels like it would be kind of, it would like grow with them a little bit, which is really sweet. Um, the next pattern is called the Hug Spencer. It's a little, another little dress and it's by Lona Kjeldsen. It's a really sweet um, little wrap dress. I just am really into the wraps and the bows lately. I don't know. It's, I just think this is really cute. Um, I like how they have it styled in some of the pattern photo photos. So there's one where she has it over like a onesie, which would be great for kind of like the cooler times in spring. And then as it warms up, you could put it over just a t-shirt or you could probably just wear it just the dress. Um, some little leggings or a little onesie. There's lots of ways to style it. Again, good for temperature regulation because you because it's got kind of like openings, but still cozy and warm. Um, and I just think it's so pretty. Uh, and this could definitely, I feel like this might be a little bit better for slightly older kids than little tiny babies, um, when they're like walking around or learning to crawl, but this is a really cute dress. I love the kind of heathery look of the yarn that they've chosen. The styling in the photos is so cute. Um, and I think it's so fun. The construction is also super interesting. I think you start with the eye cord and then move from there. So this is a really cool, fun pattern. Um, Maybe a little bit better tailored for older kids, but really, really cute um, and really fun for springtime. The next one is the Arantis cardigan, which is patterned by Knitting for Sif. Um, this is another designer that has tons of really beautiful kids patterns. There are a lot of patterns in this Arantis lace series. So there's like a onesie and a dress and a collar and I think maybe even like pants or a skirt or something. There are a lot of patterns with this really pretty lace detail. 
Um, in this particular pattern, it's a lace yoke on the cardigan or like a lace collar on a cardigan. I think it's perfect for spring when you can, again, cart, same thing with the cardigan. I feel like I'm saying the same things over and over again, but cardigans are great for little kids because you don't have to pull them over their heads um, and you can do up as many buttons as you need to or just leave it open. I just think the lace design in this series is beautiful. Um, and otherwise it's like a very simple cardigan. And then I feel like you probably just add the collar at the end. Um, so I feel like it would be a pretty, like maybe not the, uh, like a less scary entry if you've never done lace before. Um, could be nice to like start with something small like this. I just love this series and this cardigan in particular. And I think it's so cute and pretty and delicate. Um, and then the last thing in the very girly little spring bundle that I put together is the Emma Bonnet, which is by Cream of the Prop. Um, and this is a paid for pattern, but it's a very cute little lacy bonnet. I just am obsessed with it. I think it's just so, so sweet um, and tiny. And I just love the lace and the color. I, there's like this beautiful scallop detail um, around like the face hole. <laughs> I don't know, it's not really a collar around the trim of the bonnet um, and with the lovely eye cord. I just think this would be great for spring when they probably need a little bit of warmth around your head, but not as much as like a heavy beanie or like a garter stitch chunky bonnet. The lace lets some airflow. It's more decorative, um, but definitely still super cute and sweet for a little, little baby girl in the springtime. All right, moving on to summer, which I feel like is probably the most challenging um, because again, Kids are super temperature, temperature sensitive, but at least where I live, I feel like summer knits for kids are still totally fine because it doesn't get super, super hot. Um, but either way, there's lots of cute ways to style knitwear in the summertime for a little baby, especially if they're not moving around a ton um, and like getting dirty and playing in the sand and stuff. So the first one is another free pattern from Berger de France. This is just a, it's just called Dress Without Sleeves. Um, and it's a very simple kind of like A-line shift dress, but I really like the rolled stockinette details that are around the neck and the armholes. I really like that detail on knitwear recently. Been really into it. Oh, excuse me, I said this was free. It's not free, it's like, but it's very, very affordable. Two euros 20, so like $3 US, very cheap. Um, and I just love the shape. Oh, is it not rolled stockinette? No, it is rolled stockinette. Um, I really just like those like rolled stockinette details. I think it's super chic um, and fun. I like the shape on this. I feel like this would work really well for kids of different sizes. And I actually really, really like the color that the sample is knit in as well. I feel like that's a fun way to make knitwear feel summery, not only by making it in cotton, but making it in like fun, bright, happy colors. So that is pattern number one. The next summer pattern is the Bichon Mini Summer, which is a really cute little romper set um, that has a little tie at the waist and then it's little shorts with um, folded, uh, folded hems. So everything is really finished really neatly. And then the straps have this cute little knot in them, which is what holds them through the buttonholes. So that makes me feel like it could be kind of more adjustable as your child grows over the summertime. Um, and it just seems great for like, kids that are starting to get up and move around. Um, it just seems very sweet. And another thing you could kind of layer depending on the weather. So if it's cooler outside, you could put a long sleeve shirt underneath it. If it's super hot, they could probably just wear the one thing. Um, so I think it's very sweet and cute and I love it. Next one uh, are the Ribbed Bloomers by Oshana Sorokin. That's how you say her name. Um, this is a paid for pattern and there are lots of really cute bloomer patterns, but I really like this one just because they're so simple, um, and straightforward, but they have this really nice deep ribbing, which I feel like is a really cute accent. And then the little eye cord around the waist. Um, I put this in the summer section cause it's kind of like you could have your baby wear them as shorts, but bloomers are super versatile and they're like, if it's cold, if you live in somewhere really, really cold and your baby needs a lot of layers, you could put bloomers on under a dress or a jumpsuit, like this mama sleep suit or something. Um, so depending on the fiber that you work up, work, that you were to work this up in, you could do a lot of different things with it. Um, these are made in cotton. I think they're intended for summertime, but I just think they're so cute. There's just something so sweet about babies with their chunky little legs sticking out of bloomers that I think is adorable. Um, so this is a bloomer pattern I picked for this particular 
video to highlight the smaller designer, but I think they're so cute. There's ten, a couple different projects on Ravelry and they're all precious in all different colors. So I really like these. Next up is the number six romper by Florence Merlin, who is Little French Knits. Again, another pattern designer with lots of really cute baby patterns. Um, but I love this. It's perfect for summer. It's so sweet. Um, it's got a little kind of like accent collar with what looks like a pico edge on it. Actually, it's a crocheted accent collar with a little pico edge um, and then a little buttons to change diaper at the bottom and these super tiny little legs. So it's kind of more of like a kind of like a bloomer style and then some short sleeves uh, and then there's buttons up the back to close it up. Um, and make it easy to put on and off. I think this is adorable. <laughs> so cute and so fun. Um, keep your little baby like, it's, a, it's just, I just, little baby clothes are so cute <laughs> and especially little knit baby clothes. Um, so I really think this is sweet. I love the white color that it's knit in, maybe not the most practical, but because it's a pretty simple design, you could just do it in any color or there, I think there are a couple projects in here you could just do like you could do a solid color in the body and then like an accent on the collar to make it stand out a little bit more. There's lots of ways you could customize this. Um, so super cute. And then the last um, summer pattern that I picked is the Ruffle Collar Dress by Yarnspirations, which is a free pattern. Um, and it's just another really sweet, there's just some, it's the ruffly collars, I love them. Um, but this is just kind of a plain stockinette ruffled collar uh, and then like a raglan yoked dress that kind of fit and flares after the bodice. Um, it's super sweet, looks super simple. There's a split in the collar at the back and then like a clasp so you can get it on and off over their head. Um, but I think it's so cute and the, there's little like garter stitch details around the edges. It looks really simple, like a good beginner friendly baby knit. Um, and it looks so fun and cute. And I feel like it could work again, kind of all different seasons. You could put tights under it if it's colder outside or just bare legs if it starts to warm up. So super cute, fun, free pattern. Um, okay, we are in our last month of the year, moving into fall, um, which to me is more like cables and color work. Um, so, and just like super cozy, chunky textures. Um, so the first one pattern that I want to show is the Will You Love Me Cardigan by Freya, um, which is a really cute cardigan with this kind of like double moss stitch texture that has buttons at the side. I really like the look of cardigans with the buttons at the side. They're maybe not as practical because you can't really leave them open, but they are just, they just do have like a really interesting chic kind of look to them. I don't know. I like them a lot. There's a similar cardigan from Knitting for Olive, but this pattern is free. Um, and I really like this pattern, especially because they have patterns for it at several different gauges. Um, so I think there's like a fingering weight, a sport DK and a worsted. So depending on what yard you want to use or how cold it gets where you live, you could knit this pattern at a gauge that's more appropriate for your autumn or winter, whenever you want to put your baby in a pattern like this. Um, but I think it's very sweet. And to kind of match with those, you could do the oat pants from Knitting for Olive, which are knit in a similar texture. It's that double moss stitch kind of texture. Um, but these are just like cute little leggings, which I'm just, I just, there are a lot of really great little leggings and pants patterns from Knitting for Olive. And this is just one of many, um, but I like that these match with that cardigan. And they have the little I-cord around the waist. I'm sure you could do elastic if you didn't want to do I-cord. Um, and they're knit in a fingering weight, so they'll keep your baby warm, but not like they're not super chunky and hot. Um, I just think they're so cute. Um, and I just love the idea of like a little matching textured sweatsuit for a baby. It's so, so cute. Um, next up is the Little Cables Romper, which is another Little French Knits pattern by Florence Merlin. Um, this is really a really cute romper. So there's no legs on it, but it does have like a uh, long sleeves and then this really cute, just tiny little, I think one by one or two by two stitch cable motif on the yoke, which is so cute and delicate. I feel like this would be great. You could put a skirt with it. You could put pants with it. Um, you could, 
it's a baby, <laughs> but you could dress it up or dress it down depending on if you were where you're taking your kid. Um, I feel like it would look good in a ton of different colors and kind of different yarns. Um, I think it's so cute and so sweet. And I really like little French knits patterns. Um, next up we have the Matilda sweater, which is a pattern by Laura Menendez. Um, and this just looks, it's a very lovely kind of simple, is it raglan sweater? Um, but it has this beautiful floral embroidery on the yoke. Um, so I think you probably do a mixture of texture while knitting and then doing some embroidered details afterwards, but I think it's really lovely. And I guess the flowers are maybe a little bit more spring than fall, but I think they're really sweet and they could go either way. Um, I love this blue color that the sample is knit in. And I obviously, I just think it's so sweet um, and cozy and warm and just would be a lovely like fall. I guess this is probably more spring than fall, but here we are at the end of the video. So I'm not going to change it now. Um, and then the last thing that I had under the fall category is the fern dress, which is another pattern from Knitting for Olive. Um, Knitting for Olive has so many good baby patterns. I feel like the whole brand was based around knitting for their, for someone's little girl, Olive. So lots of cute things, but I love this dress in particular. It uses the fern motif, which Knitting for Olive has a couple patterns with. They have a sweater, maybe a cardigan as well. It's kind of this like feather, this lace that kind of grows and gets whiter as you go. Um, and has at, for this dress in particular, has this really cute little scalloped detail at the bottom edging, which is super sweet. Um, and then again, the little bows, it has a little bow tie on the side to kind of fasten it and hold it together. But I think it's so sweet. Um, I feel like this could be great for cooler times. You could maybe early fall wear it without anything underneath. And then as the weather cools down, put tights underneath to keep your little girl warm. But yeah, that is the last fall pattern and the last on my kind of like favorite stream knits, stream baby knits roundup. So I hope this was helpful for you all. I hope you have found some new patterns and some new pattern designers to look at um, as you're thinking about baby knits, either for you or for friends or family. Um, there are so many wonderful patterns out there. There are only 20 of the thousands of fabulous baby knit patterns that there are, but maybe just introducing you to some new designers and some things you hadn't seen before. Um, and hopefully you'll be seeing me work on some of these projects um, over the first year of my baby's life. So we will see how it all comes together, but thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it some inspiration. Um, and I'll leave you with that. So happy knitting, have a lovely rest of your day or your evening, wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video.